guys having a really decent week thus far so this video is going to be called well I don't fucking know but okay we're gonna be talking about how to recognize a warlock when you see one when you feel one around you um, I feel like this video will be more pertained to women um, who knows that they have big hearts about them and there's certain things about certain women certain women will get the drift if they're in the presence of a warlock let's get into it but let's get into the sun first <gasps> dive into the sun bows swim through the heat of the fire yeah. Hold up. It feels pretty good today, though. Now, if I'm in the shade, it always gets a little chillier, of course. So, you know. You gotta stay prepared. <gasps> gotta stay prepared. Gotta stay prepared. Gotta stay prepared. Gotta stay prepared. <gasps> Preparation. Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, so what up, y'all? I cannot see myself. That's how I know. Okay, I sort of, kind of, sort of, kind of, but not really. Whatever, it doesn't matter as long as you guys hear me. It's the main thing. You feel me? <gasps> no picture perfect Kodak moment. Shit, no. All right, here, here we go now. Um. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's get into it, guys. So, we're going to get into the weather forecast at this moment. We're near Naboo Dwells. At this very second, we are looking at clear skies. Uh, somewhat partly cloudy, but not cloudy like that. If anything, the clouds are more on the horizon area. You feel me? So... But it's more like a clear blue day, sunny, sun, shine right on that forehead of yours, you feel me? And vibes, vibes, it's vibes all day today for me. I had a great sleep, you know, I had a really great sleep. I hope everyone else had a great sleep as well. Let's get into the topic now. Um, so warlocks, how to recognize one, how to recognize the presence of one, if you're a woman. Um, you'll know if you're in the presence of a warlock, despite how they may address themselves to the masses of people, the surface people. You're really detect them when you catch them in private. That was so unnecessary, truck. Trucks are, they always overdo the shit. Trucks always overdo it. Like, I'm a little more. <laughs> I'm the biggest one here. You know, I'm the alpha of these streets. So anyway, um, talking about the damn truck. These trucks, I swear. So, how you can detect a warlock if you're a female who got the spidey senses and I can sense if they're around your eyes. You feel me? No matter how they may betray themselves to the masses of people. You feel me? Um, one thing's for certain, two things for sure. You feel me? They're gonna be charismatic and charming as fuck. Like, mm -mm. 
They're going to be mad, charismatic, and charming. Um, very skillful in so many different ways as well. They're, they're skilled individuals, which can become very deadly. When you're skilled, you're, when you're a skilled individual, you are very deadly. You know, it, it's kind of like that love. I, I don't want to say hate kind of thing. It's, it's a tug and pull, but it's constant. Like one can't be can't be settled. You know, as just this was what this is. Oh, I hate you. Oh, I love you. Like it's like a tug and pull between the two, and that's like. That's what that is, kind of crazy. Anyway, so, um, <sighs> another thing you can recognize about the attributes, energetic attributes, if you're in the presence of a warlock, is um, they're very knowledgeable, but if they tend to um, speak and speak, and speak and speak only it's almost as though like there's no breathing time in between the words that they say because it's consistently like <laughs> you know but what they're saying is amusing and is very knowledgeable and is very like it's useful you feel me it's purposeful like what they talk about does not bore your ass. You actually have your bunny ears perk, you know, your bunny ears perk because you're interested in what they're saying is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious, guys. You know I got imagination, man. Work with me. So, um, another thing you can detect about a warlock here is um they will have some really um it's something about their eyes it's something about their eyes don't know what it is but for those that know know you know it's something about their eyes they use that to do their warlocking whatever that is you know um, another thing you can detect about if you're in the presence of a warlock is if they know how to put that thing down. In general is what I'm saying. Like, these are the facts here due to personal experience, you feel me? So, they just know how to lay it down. Like, they know how to keep your ass thinking about them in that way at least at the very fucking bottom least they know what it's like acupuncture they know exactly where to press on your body period it's an art like i said these individuals are deadly because they're skillful they're really skilled it does take a strong mind to be able to withstand the presence of a warlock and it also takes a strong spirit to be able to withstand the presence as well. The strong spirit wouldn't want to be around a warlock for that long, though. <laughs> or at least, no, nah, not at all. <laughs> it would be a problem. Um, but the beautiful thing I got to say about warlocks, yeah, like, look, me, myself, and I, I see the beauty in everything um i can't help it because like when you're like when you're too familiar with like the dark of your life um you're very familiar with uh, being comfortable in your own darkness you're really familiar with that and you kind of live in it now because you found your own light within your own darkness and you're just you're basically walking your raw truth in, in that way in that state of mind you're not going to want to withstand any presence any energy that might try to threaten your peace of mind that you've cultivated within 
you know, but then you having to go through your own darkness and scrap up the light, you know, to help you have a peace of mind within that darkness. You wouldn't want to be around anybody that might um, remind you of some things in your own personal darkness that you're not trying to be reminded of again. You know. But, uh, you know, it happens. And it's okay because you got to protect your peace at all times. Just This is why I made this video, um, how to recognize a warlock by energy. I can't say what the motherfucker look like. They can look like all colors, like all textures, all, you know. Um, 18 and up. Appearance wise, I, I don't know. I, warlocks can be detected by energy. Just as witches can be detected by energy. Let's go over the definition of what a witch is. Can we? Can we do that? Let's go over the definition of what a witch is. So, a witch is, well, they're often associated with women, right? A part of the whole agenda of demonization of the feminine gender, of the whole concept of yin. Just demonizing, demonizing, but anyway, um, Okay, hold up, give me a second. <laughs> so the definition of witches is um, basically just a woman who is scorned. A woman who is scorned. Um, she's highly skillful as well, but she uses her skills to harm others. Period. Period, 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 you know? Um, I want to say that anything that is unknown to somebody, anything that is confusing to somebody, you know, that's where your own energy should be able to... Um, that's where you should be able to go off how you truly, from the core, feel. Like, say if you're in the dark room, you can't find the, the light to turn on the light yet, but you're, like, feeling around the room. You are going off of the core of how you feel at that moment while you're in that dark room, feeling out whatever you're trying to seek. You're going off that gut feeling, right? That's what I'm talking about. So, when you're in the presence of a witch or a warlock, you're going to have to rely on your gut feeling, on that core feeling within you that from time to time may jump up, from time to time may like, it's like an emotion, it's like an emotion emoji dance avatar I don't know like it's like if you feel happy that little avatar inside of you that you feel from time to time when you feel something deep when you're around certain people or in certain places that little fella in there that little emoji dance avatar will start dancing depending on what <laughs> emotion it, it, it's in so say if it's happy it'll do the happy dance if it's sad it'll be like this you know just sway you know, if it's mad, it'd be like, you know, like, <laughs> anyway, kind of like how um, when you have music software and um, some music software have like those um, optional cartoon animations that be on the corner that would be like the little dance emoji in the corner while you're making your, um, your music, your beats and whatnot. <laughs> anyway though um that's how you could tell if you're in the presence of a warlock 
if he talks fast and I mean so fast to where it would seem like his pace is hard to keep up but he does it on purpose because he's saying some subliminal shit in his speech as he's speaking to you or to your energy since you're in the presence of that energy there's a lot that goes on in the warlock world that I don't really have a clue about I'm just I'm someone who've had a personal experience being around one or should I say being around a couple throughout my life now didn't even realize I was around one or around a couple until I was able to grow and evolve my awareness to a point where, ah, these are the telltale signs here. You know, like these are the telltale signs. So, why am I sharing this video? Why am I talking about this subject, right? Like I said before, it's a gut feeling. It's a gut feeling. I feel like it's time to talk about this now. I feel like it's time. Um, and also, I wanted to create a video for women out there that might be confused about a guy that they like or about... I am talking about the opposite sex. <laughs> if, if a woman with a big heart is confused about a guy who happens to I don't know like he's too damn skillful type shit like is he a warlock or is he just genuinely like that you know cause a warlock warlocks have hidden motives just like witches witches have hidden motives and it will always leak through no matter how much they try to cover you know what they're trying to do it's always going to leak through even if you like say like with my chest i don't wear bras so even if i cover my myself now it's like you guys can mentally see what my chest look like type shit that kind of thing um just that was a tangible ex example though so i don't even know if that really can but but lost me there <laughs> anyway um i want this video to be more like a guide you know a guide ah. i just ate a little bit my bad my bad my bad anyway it's, it's a beautiful day you know how silly I be sometimes so warlocks 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 um that's a lot I can share so they will make the woman feels so comfortable where the warlock dwells at. The warlock will make that woman feel so comfortable where he dwells at. Very comfortable. Like, everything provided. No reason for you to fret about nothing. No worries. All you gotta do is be happy and be, you know, So I can feed on your good energy, baby. So I can feed off of that. So that's what it is. But also, too, um, low-key warlocks get a kick out of sucking out, like, the, the uneasiness feeling out of people. Um, they like feeding on negative emotions. That's how they survive. Bitterness negativity, complaining, anger, uh, talking about people, gossip, like any negative stuff, they feed off that shit heavy. 
and they really get a nice feast when you're right there next to them when you're right there and it's convenient you know what i mean like who wouldn't want to get up and have a nice full buffet of yum 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 eats eats right there you feel me right there in their home all they gotta do is like a pet all they gotta do is make sure it gets fed make sure it you know it got everything it needs you know the water the soap the uh <laughs> roof over the head everything you know, feel me everything so warlocks will have a way of making sure that you feel comfortable where you are that way if you feel comfortable where you are you're not gonna want to move no the fucking where like what's the point i've been living outside all my life i'm so happy i got a roof <laughs> you feel me so yeah what was said in my head just now was um to rhyme i was thinking of wife i don't fucking know that's why I pause and I'm like, nah, I'm gonna say roof. <laughs> but um, yeah, warlocks, guys, warlocks. You feel me? Not Goldilocks. You feel me? Goldilocks and the three bears. Goldilocks and the three bears. Goldilocks and the three bears. Goldilocks, 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 Goldilocks and the three bears. Goldilocks go to the house. Goldilocks is hungry and eat the first bowl. It's too hot. Goldilocks eat the next bowl. It's too cold. Goldilocks eat the next bowl. Ah, it's just right. Goldilocks and the three bears. Goldilocks, 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 Goldilocks tried the bed. Oh, it's too hard. Goldilocks try the next bed. Oh, it's too soft. Goldilocks try the next bed. Oh, it's just right. Goldilocks fall asleep now. Goldilocks, Goldilocks and the three bears. Oh, God, he let go. <laughs> I'm going to eat right now, guys. Like, look. Goldie locks in the three bears, man. Anyway, take from that what you feel the need to take. I had to literally sing the whole song and make it up along the way. But that was, that was dope. Goldie locks, Goldie locks in the three bears. Goldilocks, Goldilocks and the three bears. Goldilocks, Goldilocks and the three bears. Goldilocks, Goldilocks, Goldilocks. Yeah. So, Warlock guys, Warlocks, 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 Warlocks. Oops. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? This is cute. A little, I don't know, can you guys see that? It's like a little tree thing and it's cute. Anyway, 
So, yeah. Things to watch out for when you are. We are at 25. Okay. I'm at. <laughs> so. These are the things you must watch out for when you're in the presence of warlocks. These are the things you gotta be watching out for, watching out for, watching out for. Things you gotta watch out for, watch out for, watch out for. Things you gotta look out for, look out for, look out for. Warlocks and the three bears. Oops, Goldilocks, Goldilocks and the three bears. <laughs> Goldilocks, Warlock. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Goldilocks and Warlock. Mm -mm. That's gonna be the title of this of this video, guys. Goldilocks and Warlocks. Hold up, let me see how I'm gonna do this. Goldilocks and Warlocks. Goldilocks and Warlock. Okay, so I, if I name this video Goldilocks and Warlock, Goldilocks and Warlock, Goldilocks and Warlock. If I name this video Goldilocks and Warlock, Goldilocks and Warlock, Goldilocks and Warlock, then I'm gonna have to tell a story on my. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Then I'm gonna have to tell a story about. Then I have to. Then I have to. So, Goldilocks and Warlock, they be vibing in their own little section. Catching the vibe, listening to the music. Winds on the ride, then we high of life. Doing just fine, then something takes over. It's a wave of some vibes I never know what the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, stop guys. So, since Goldilocks is Goldilocks, right? Since Goldilocks is Goldilocks. Goldilocks. She needs to know when she's in the presence of warlocks. What? Warlocks. What? She gotta know when she's in the presence of warlocks. What? Warlocks. What? She gotta know when she's in the presence of warlocks. What? Warlocks. What? She needs to know when she's in the presence of warlocks. What? Warlocks. What? Yeah, cause when Goldilocks, cause she Goldilocks is already, she's already aware of the energy of witches, cause she <laughs> she had no choice but to be around them. <laughs> so being around a warlock is similar because they vibrate off that same. Uh, playbook, <laughs> something like that. So, hey, energy don't lie, and energy never lies, ever. Ever. So, yeah. Anyway, I've I've been filled with a lot of music, guys. <laughs> a lot of music, and they're just playing in different ranges in my head right now. So I'm just picking and choosing what I'm going to sing next. Um, but anyway, um, if Goldilocks is already familiar with the energy of jealous as dark energy, envious as negative as dense air, hard to breathe looking as, like it's, it's not a vibe. When you can recognize the energy of a witch like that, you can recognize the energy of a warlock like that. Um, you know, the best way to really detect if you are in the presence of one is let them talk. 
If they want to talk, let them talk. They're doing you a favor. They're helping you read them. Or they're helping you fill out and have clarity about their energy even better. Because the more they speak, the more clarity you get. Clarity is everything. It's important. Um, yeah, you know, like, be clear about what you speak and speak exactly, you know. Why not speak from the heart? But, like, a lot of people are afraid of that, so they're always in their head a lot, you know. Not saying there's something wrong, but typically what you truly want to talk about, what you truly want to say is often straight from the heart. Like, fresh oven baked from the oven, baby. Nice and warm. It's, you see that heat? Ooh, you smell that? Mm, nice and fresh, baby. It's nice and fresh. Sweet cheeks. Honey dumplings. No, I think <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Let's get back in the shade, man. Let's get back in the shade. Come on, come on. The sun is really baking, but it feels good out here, man. It feels good. It feels good. It feels so good. <laughs> They do like this. The wind, the breeze, the sun, the cheese. Anyway, I'm sorry. Like, look, no, I'm not. Right now, I am in a crazy ass like music. Music. Like, that's all I'm hearing right now. Like, my own, like, that's all, that's all I hear right now. It's a lot of music. So, typically, I would just be singing to myself. Uh, 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 singing to myself. Uh. Sing it to myself. Sing it to myself. Sing it to myself. Sing it to myself. With a dance. Sing it to myself. What? 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 With a dance. Sing it to myself. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it to myself. What? With a dance. Sing it to myself. What? With a dance. Sing it to myself. What? With a dance. Sing it to myself. What a dance, sing it to myself. What? 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 What a dance, sing it to myself. Like I said, I'm going, guys. I'm going. And I'm still going to be going after I'm done with this video. I've been feeling really inspired this week in particular, guys. Like, it's a beautiful thing to feel inspired. So, you know, I take the beauty out of all situations, out of all things, you know, period. Like, and that's honestly, that's all that I do remember. Just the beauty of all situations, of all people, you know. That's just how I was mine. That's just how it was made. I can't change it. Mm. That's just how I was made. I can't change it. Ooh wee. That's just how I was made. I can't change it. Ooh. That's just how it was made. I can't change it. For the world, I can't change it. Oh no. Only you can be the I, okay. I lost it now. It's gone. It's broke. I don't see it no more. Okay, so <laughs> all right. So yeah, guys. Been feeling hell inspired all week this week. All week this week. I've been. Feeling 
feeling inspired all week this week. All week this week, I've been feeling inspired. All week this week. All week this week, I've been feeling inspired. All week this week. What? All week this week, I've been feeling inspired. All week this week. What? All week this week, I've been feeling inspired. All week this week. What? All week this week, I've been feeling inspired. All week this week, what? All week this week, I've been feeling inspired. All week this week, what? <laughs> like I say, y'all, I'm not playing. I got so much music and my mother noggin. Noggin. So much music flowing in my noggin. Noggin. So much music flowing in my noggin. Noggin. So much music just flowing through my noggin. Noggin. So much music just flowing through my noggin. Noggin. So much music just flowing through my noggin. Noggin. So much music just flowing through my noggin. So much music just flowing through my noggin, noggin. So much music just flowing through my noggin, noggin. So much music just flowing through my noggin, noggin. So much music just flowing through my noggin, my noggin. So much music just flowing through my noggin, my noggin. So much music just flowing through. Woo, guys, I'm just wee, feeling so lovely. I can't explain sometimes because it comes in octaves and rages. Oh. Different expressions. Yo, that shit funny right there. What the flying fuck? Excuse me. My bad, guys. My bad. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Give me a second. I just have to pause for a minute. So. I saw a really cool car just now. I had to pause really quick. Yeah, these cars, man, they're really interesting. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna let you guys go, guys. I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna let y'all go. That shit is weird, bro. That shit not weird. Okay, let's get in the shade. I'm getting distracted too much. I'm singing along all the little melodies I got in my head to you guys and just creating a show. My bad. I'm gonna let you guys go right now, okay? I'm gonna let y'all guys go now. Now, now, now. I'm gonna let y'all go sky now. I'm gonna let y'all guys go.
go now. I'ma let y'all guys go now. Go now. Go now. I'ma let y'all guys go now. Go now. Go now. I'ma let y'all guys go now. Okay. I'll see y'all later. Till next time. Dirty locks and warlocks. Until the next episode of the Yard of the Boo. Oh.